Ladies and gentlemen, Trump lunged at a Secret Service agent in rage when he was told he couldn't go uh, to the Capitol uh, two Januarys ago. Uh, a staffer testifies, or I should say, a staffer testifies according to what she heard from Tony, a Secret Service agent. So this is... I am the effing president. Take me there now, Trump insisted, according to the aide Ca Cassidy Hutchinson, describing what she was told happened that day in the limo. So you have the telephone uh, game um, always with Trump. Where is the hearsay and gossip with our current president or Hillary or Bill or President Obama? Can I get any hearsay and gossip? Can I have... Any, like, two or three person chain of, um, he said, she said, hearsay, gossip, I was told by someone else that, um, mashed potato brains Joe, um, was actually working with his son and promising beneficial treatment to businesses and to, uh, multinational organizations and to, um, wealthy, uh, corporate executives around the world. And we have the emails to show that, by the way, but we can't have, like when Tony Bubulinski, one of the business associates, was interviewed and there were corresponding emails that he could actually state, yes, and verify. So you have emails from Hunter's laptop and a business associate willing to testify who worked with Hunter. So you have a, 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 a infinitely more evidence with Hunter's emails than you ever do with Trump. They impeached him based on a bunch of smart people and respected people, uh, re you know, a, b a bunch of academics and uh, people in government who don't like him, saying that they knew he was trying to uh, push um, another president, who, by the way, that president denied ever being pressured, to investigate Mashed Potato Brains Joe, his direct political rival. Meanwhile, all they're doing is investigating their direct political rival in Trump. And what they, what they always do, the template is find gossip and hearsay. So I'm the president now. Take me. This is what he is said to have stated. Always, it's always what Trump is said to have stated. We have no clue if he stated it, but we know that somehow, some way, he almost certainly did. So no, it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't even a Secret Service agent. It was another White House aide. Tony uh, Ornato. So you have what Tony was telling Hutchinson. So what Ornato was telling Hutchinson. So once the president got into the vehicle with Bobby, the beast, they call it, he thought they were going up uh, to... Okay, and then when Bobby relayed to him, we're not going to have uh, the assets to do it, he got very upset. The president had a very strong, very angry response that Tony described him as being irate. He even lunged in rage. See, this is the this is why you have to. And CNBC is actually a pretty it, it, CNBC is actually a good publication. That's like the last one of the last actual good, like decent publications that you can look at. CNBC, MSNBC. I'm not talking about MSNBC. I'm talking about CNBC focused primarily on the stock market, which is tanking today. And I'll have a segment on the stock market crash channel. By the way, I will be, uh, I will have a live stream tonight. I will have a live stream tonight at uh, around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Pacific. So be here, 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Pacific. But ladies and gentlemen, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable how, so Trump lunged at a Secret Service agent and then he allowed people to be armed and all of these things. He, he knew, he knew what was going to happen some way, somehow. They make absurd leaps of logic with Trump. They just, he's capable of anything. They level suspicion. The standard of suspicion against him is simply, did somebody say anything bad about him? That's it. Again, I'll have, <laughs> I, I don't even know. I was trying to. Set up the so I'll have a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Hit subscribe to this channel. Hit subscribe to the stock market crash channel and the Bitcoin crash at 10,000 or lower. If you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. And also, 
Uh, if you want to give a super thanks to this segment, the super thanks is below. But it's unbelievable because all you have, ladies and gentlemen, is hearsay and gossip. Trump lunged at a Secret Service agent in rage. I mean, yeah, and is this is this the equivalent of top secret intelligence on servers running outside of the United States government? I want to know that. I want to know that. Is this the equivalent of that? Top secret intelligence on outside of the United States government with classified data floating around on private servers. So how you transferred, how Hillary's team transferred top secret intelligence from secure government locations onto servers outside of the United States government, nobody knows. And trust me, nobody cares about on the left, from Jimmy Kimmel to, um, to Democrats to, uh, you know, donors. They don't care. They don't care how. To, but apparently, James Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper. Has anybody asked McCabe or Strzok how the top secret intelligence from uh, Clinton's from secure government networks were transferred onto servers outside of the United States government. It, nobody cares apparently, and Comey even said, "Oh yeah, it could have been a uh, you know uh, infiltrated by hostile actors." Like, well, yeah. He, what's his name? Uh, Michael uh, Hayden stated that he would lose respect for foreign intelligence services if they didn't um, if they didn't obtain her emails. So, but I mean, the thing is, it's like, it's just pretty unbelievable. It is unbelievable how, I mean, you have emails stating, how can you use your, asking Hunter, how can you use your influence on behalf, on the company's behalf? Then you have an actual voicemail from Joe telling Hunter, oh yeah, you're in the clear. I read the uh, New York Times article. I mean, you can't get more incriminating. You have emails showing pay-to-play schemes. You have Joe basically stating, oh, yeah, you're in the clear. I read the New York Times article. You're in the clear, meaning that he spoke to his son about his son's business dealing. There will be numerous, numerous impeachments. So he spoke to his son about his son's business dealings. And that was a lie, one of the many lies. But you don't have the running tally of lies. You don't have the running tally of lies from the Washington Post. The standard of suspicion and judgment is completely different for Trump. That's why they're never going to get Trump. If they if they ever indict him, it'll be because um, they they're just grasping at straws. It's a hail mary, and they know that they, they just want to knock him out of the presidential contest in twenty four. It's not because he committed crimes. The man hasn't. Trump has not committed a crime. It has been six years now. They can't find anything. With Hillary, there were crimes. But see, Democrats, which is why they lost Roe v. Wade, couldn't accept that anyone on their side committed crimes. So you had the vote blue no matter who YouTubers and journalists. And they said, vote doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's an FBI investigation, an actual legitimate reason. It was a cover-up. But one would say, like, that is a true F, that is tr a true investigation from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Why a government official had private servers. Not a steel dossier implicating a government official uh, and utilizing that because he was installed by another country. That's politics. That's a new frontier that we've never seen before. The U.S. intelligence agencies have never been leveled at an incoming president. That's one of the many norms and traditions, including... Uh, including doing away with the Supreme Court, which is what they want to do. So, I mean, you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where, like I stated, the only, the one person who could have defeated, the one person who could have defeated uh, Donald Trump in 2016 was cheated. Bernie Sanders was cheated. And they cheated Bernie Sanders for somebody who had obvious criminal activity. But again, I want Hillary uh, Trump 2024, Hillary Clinton DeSantis 2024. Hillary needs to run again. And we need to do it all over again. But this is nonsense. This, the media is... Media and Democrats work in unison, in conjunction. Give us any hearsay about Trump. This committee is a complete farce. They only run on hearsay and gossip, just like the impeachment trials of Trump. And the impeachment of Biden will be different. There will be actual emails. There will be actual people looking at the emails, money trail, money flow, business deals. It'll be completely different. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Be here tonight 
at around 8, 9 p.m. Pacific for the live stream tonight. Thank you so very, very much.